Taking a human life is the ultimate crime. Yet breast cancer gets away with it every day. Sometimes it'll try and kill you, but you escape. You think you've gotten away and that you're not going to be the victim anymore. But the fact is, there is a fearful possibility that it could come back for you. And at the moment, it sometimes does. Whilst we know a lot about how to catch breast cancer cells committing crime, what we're starting to realise is that the cancer cells that should be on our hit list aren't the ones that are doing the dirty work, but are the ones that are behind it all. The ones that are out of sight and the ones that come back. Like into a gang leader, these hidden or dormant cancer cells can remain in hiding for years, possibly decades, waiting, planning the perfect opportunity to commit the ultimate crime, growing violent and fatal tumours. Our current treatments against cancer are great, but are inadequate with treatments leaving the hidden gang leaders unharmed and ready to strike again. Different treatments will catch different criminals. We can't expect the policemen on the streets to be able to take out a gang leader. We need a special kind of treatment to target this type of criminal. But the problem is we still don't know what dormant cancer cells even look like, let alone trying to figure out how to catch them. The one important lead we do have is that we know that they like to hide out in your skeleton. Acting on this lead, the aim of my research is focused on looking for rare dormant breast cancer cells in bone and defining their genetic fingerprint in order to eradicate them. I want to know what getaway highways these cells are using to escape treatments, the phone conversations they're having with neighbouring cells, and how they are disguising themselves on a day-to-day -day basis. To do this, I've used a labelling method that allows me to distinguish dormant cancer cells from active cancer cells. By using this method for the first time, I've been able to identify and visualise rare dormant breast cancer cells in bone. What's more is I have interrogated and extracted the genetic information from dormant and active cancer cells so that I can begin to ask questions like, what are the genes that are switched on in dormant cancer cells compared to the active ones? By answering such questions, my research will determine how cancer cells go into hiding and what triggers them to escape. The implications in understanding this process will almost certainly lead to a change in how we understand cancer and how we diagnose and treat the disease. Do we prosecute dormant cancer cells with the death penalty or do we serve them with a life sentence, keep them dormant, so that patients die with the cancer instead of dying from it? My research is helping to bring the perpetrators of crime to justice so that you don't have to live in fear. If we beat it the first time, we can beat it for good. Thank you.